What's up guys, today we have an iPad um, 12 Pro 12.9 um, This is the first generation uh, iPad uh, This one has a uh, no power issue um, So first thing is, let's take a look See we uh, plug in the um, Try to start the tester to see what we get So something's wrong with this. So this one has a um, charging port failure, also TriStar failure. So it could be either one or both. So um, not sure. So let's try to plug in the uh, plug in the uh, charging cable and see what we get. So when we plug in the charging cable, we only get 0.4 amp. So it means something wrong with the charging. Uh, issue, there's a charging issue or no power issue, whatever it is. But it looks like from our TriStar tester, it seems that there are a, maybe a charging port issue or the um, the TriStar issue, uh, or it could be both uh, that causing it. So. So we need to open up this um, iPad and get access to it. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so um, managed to remove the uh, LCD, LCD screen. And uh, let's take a look at the charging port, see if there are any uh, damage to the charging port first. Blurry, but charging port seems fine. Okay, so let's try to uh, replace the charging IC. Um, I think that may be the case. Be under here. Oh man, looks like we need to cut the shoe off. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I think we need a Yeah, let's put some flux on it. Let me see this dot is over here. I'll try to remember it. Just mark it. There you go. Okay, so we need to protect the battery.
Come on. This is gonna be a pain. Okay, this looks good. Let's clean up a little bit. Just taking a point four amp. Test with the trisource tester again. Trizor Hydra fail, try another duck flex. It seems like we have a. Uh. What is there? Nothing wrong with the charging port. Tristar's tester is not reliable. It is short. Oh man, are you serious? This thing is short. Oh man. This darn thing is short. Where is the short? short all right let's see if we can uh, remove it um, and that would, the cap doesn't look too bad See, the test is short. Yep, it is short, all right. It's so like we see we have a bat cap. So that TriStar is not a reliable. So there's no more short. Yeah, so no more short. Okay, let's try to see if we can charge it. Okay, so we relieve the short. See if we can charge it. All right, it's charging at 0.9 amp. It's booting up. Charging at 
charging at 0.9 amp. Let's try to hook up the LCD screen. Okay, let's try to hook the LC, LC screen, see if we can charge it. Get that in. Okay, press in. See if we get the up the charging logo. All right. Um, so we fix it. It's charging at 0 0.9 amps and it's booting up fine. All right. Awesome. So it's at 81% right now. It's 20.9 amp. So the problem is uh, with this uh, particular iPad was the um, there was a short one of the um, capacitor and when we tried to test with the uh, TriStar let me see, this goes schematic and uh, take a look real quick. Two, two. So, um, this, this capacitor right here was short. Um, or maybe this one. I believe this is one of them. Um, yeah, so, no, this one. So, this capacitor. Was, so this capacitor was short, and um, it caused the whole thing to um, basically not power up. And we, when we did the TriStar tester, it says uh, there's an issue with the charging port, or there's an issue with the TriStar, which is not correct. So TriStar is not very reliable. So at any rate, we fixed the um, iPad power issue. Now it's charging fine and powering up. Well, thank you for watching. See you guys on the next video. Uh, hit the like button.